Hello everybody, today we will be taking a look at the Foxtech WDR750 600 line CCD dynamic range mini camera. You can get these at foxtechhobby.com and it's a very high end FPV camera. And now we will get into some specifications of it and then we will see some sample video. So this camera weighs about 1.3 ounces. Um, it's a little much for such a small camera, but the reason it weighs a lot is because it's encased in metal. If you really wanted to um, lighten it up, you could take off some of the metal, but I'm going to keep it on there because with the metal on, this thing is pretty much bulletproof. Um, it'll take really hard crashes, and the lens is not going to break because it's just a metal tube that comes out. So this thing is rock solid. Uh, to me, it's worth the extra weight having it all encased in metal like this. This camera operates on 12 volts. Um, it's got a 1 3rd inch Sony Super HAD CCD image sensor. Um, I like CCD over, uh, over um, CMOS because um, there's less vibration um, and the, the image adjusts to light more quickly and it has better um, night vision. The dimensions of it are 30 by 30 millimeters and the shutter speed can go anywhere from 1 60th of a second to 100 thousandths of a second, which is pretty crazy. So this camera will operate in all different types of um, light. It comes with the cable you see here in the picture and it also comes with this mounting bracket, but because I use different kind of connectors, um, I soldered on uh, a servo connector and a JST to run off a 12 volt battery and it works very nicely on this with this little connector. The thing I like most about this camera is the OSD menu. Back here it's got a little stick you can move to select different things. Um, and with this OSD control you can change all different kinds of settings. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that now. So here we have um, the camera and I'm recording it on my laptop back there in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the menus. Um, you press the little stick to get into the menu, and then you have this um, list of different of different settings you can go to. Um, there's exposure, white balance, backlight, day and night, DPC, special. Um, special goes to another menu of camera title. You can put that on. Um, you can go motion, so it detects motion. Uh, it'll show squares where the motion is. Um, this is more for a security camera, but you can go to privacy where you have those boxes that can um, blank out stuff. Uh, you've got park line, so you can see that those lines in the video right there. Um, you can go to image adjust where you can set different stuff like a mirror. So if you have it looking like out the back of the plane or something, you can turn that on and it will reverse it. You can go to font color, um, so you can turn the color of the font to whatever. Um, contrast, you can adjust sharpness, you can adjust display, um, and you can even make the image, this is pretty cool, you can make the image negative. So if you want to pretend you're flying like a drone at night or something, there you go, it's all negative. So you can switch that back to normal. And then there's return. And there's language, um, and then return to the main menu. You can reset it to factory settings, um, and then there's just a bunch of different things you can do with this cool little camera that is now looking at my other camera. So, anyways, that is this little camera. Um, for recording it, I'm using an Easy Cap thing that plugs into my Mac, and then I use the program called Video Glide Capture to record it, and that is it with the recording and setup menus of this camera. As you can see, it is a very versatile camera with lots of different things you can do with it. So here's some um, sample footage that I took with this camera. Um, as you can see, the colors are really good. Usually with an, uh, cheaper FPV cameras that have CCD sensors, the color is all messed up and it's undersaturated and you can't really it's kind of more washed out, but as you can see with this camera, the color is very nice. Um, here I'm heading outside to do some brightness testing or color or uh, light adjust testing. One of the things that I don't like about normal FPV cameras is when you point them up to the sky, they'll adjust to the brightness of the clouds. So you can see the clouds well, but then when the plane tilts back down towards the ground, you can't see anything on the ground because it's too dark or when half the screen is bright with clouds and half the screen is dark, um, you just have trouble seeing the ground. 
But as you can see here, I look up and the camera doesn't really adjust to the brightness of the sun, which is really good. So then right when I look down, I can see the um, I can see the ground and all the details and there's no time it takes to adjust. So I'm very confident this camera will be great for flying FPV with. Um, you might notice some interlacing lines on the video here. That's because of my recorder, not because of the actual camera. Um, so picture quality wise, this camera definitely passed the test. So here's a quick night test. Um, it looks like it's pretty bright outside right now, but it's really very dark. Um, there was a light above the camera, um, and it was really, really dim light. Like I could barely see with just my eyes. Um, but as you can see, this camera picks up a lot of light because it's really low lux. Um, so this camera does very well in low light and passes the test. Um, here are some infrared LEDs. Uh, so they're not actually the light from them is not visible with the human eye, but um, as you can see, this camera picks those up. So that just proves once again that this is a low lux camera, uh, but it also has great color. So that's really cool. So that was a short little introduction and some sample footage from this nice little FPV camera. Um, in the next couple days here, I'm going to stick this on an airplane and then we'll test it out in its natural environment, which is the atmosphere. So we'll see how this thing performs when it's being put to the test in the air. So stick around for that video coming up in the next few days. Thanks for watching. Um, thank you, Fox Tech Hobby, for sponsoring this review. Uh, adios.